let us consider a closed organ pipe of length L lying along the X axis. When we blow air at its open end, a longitudinal wave travels in the air of the pipe towards the closed end, which reflects it back towards the open end. The incident and reflected waves traveling in the air column in opposite directions superpose and form stationary longitudinal waves. At x is equal to zero, the particles of air have no freedom to vibrate. Hence, there is always a node at the closed end. On the other hand, at x is equal to L, the air particles have the greatest freedom to vibrate. Hence, there is always an antinode at the open end. The alongside figure represents the alternate formation of nodes and antinodes and also gives us an idea about the separation between an adjacent antinode and node which is equal to lambda by 4. Considering L as the length of the organ pipe and V the speed of sound wave in air, the air in the organ pipe can vibrate in the following types of modes. First we have the fundamental mode also called the first mode. Suppose the source produces an incident ray which after striking the closed end gets reflected back. So standing waves are formed. As the separation between two adjacent node and antinode is 1 by 4th of wavelength, the length of the considered organ pipe will be equal to lambda 1 by 4. This implies that lambda 1 is equal to 4L. Therefore, the fundamental frequency denoted by mu 1 is equal to V upon lambda 1, which finally gives us the expression mu 1 is equal to V upon 4L. Next comes the second mode. Let lambda 2 be the wavelength of the standing wave set up in the pipe. The mode of vibration in this type of mode is shown in the figure where one additional antinode and one additional node are formed between closed and open ends of the pipe. As there are three separations of adjacent node and antinode between the open and the closed end, therefore the length of the considered organ pipe will be equal to 3 lambda 2 upon 4. Lambda 2 is equal to 4L upon 3 which gives us the value of mu 2 is equal to 3V upon 4L. Thus the frequency of vibration in the second mode is three times the fundamental frequency. The sound note produced in the pipe is called first overtone or third harmonic of the pipe. Now the third mode we have the second overtone. Let lambda 3 be the wavelength of the standing wave in the pipe. This mode of vibration is shown in the figure where two additional antinodes and two additional nodes are there between the two ends of the pipe. Similar to the previous cases we can calculate the respective values of L, lambda 3 and mu 3 which is equal to 5V upon 4L. Thus, the frequency in this third mode of vibration is 5 times of the fundamental frequency. Therefore, it is also known as the fifth harmonic. With the help of the previous three equations, it follows that the frequency of the mth mode of vibration is mu m which is equal to v upon lambda m therefore mu m is equal to 2 m minus 1 v upon 4 l from this calculation it is clear that the frequencies generated by a closed organ pipe are related as follows v upon 4 l that is the fundamental frequency 3 v upon 4 l that is the first overtone, 5V upon 4L, that is the second overtone, and 2M minus 1V upon 4L, 
which is the mth mode. The overtones of the closed pipe have the following relationship that is 1 is to 3 is to 5 till 2m minus 1. With this it can be concluded that in the case of a closed organ pipe only odd harmonics are present.